But the thing that really knocks me off is that Brutus, this is Shakespeare's mistake, Shakespeare's not a perfect playwright, he writes this speech for, for Brutus in front of the crowd, and the crowd are wowed by it. But then he writes this, like, ages long dialogue with, with, with Antony and the crowd, in which, of course, he turns them over. I'm sort of burning as an actor. Can I come on again? Can I just, I had more to say. It's just one of the famous scenes, you know, in the Shakespeare canon. And, um, and everybody would hear when they hear Friends, Romans. It's just so well written. I come to places, not to places. Mark Antony is, he is emotional, but he uses it to his, to his advantage. That's the difference between, uh, you know, I, I do think Brutus is, is charged with emotion as well because Caesar was close to him. He does his deed or carries out his actions. It, it's justified by him through honor. I think Mark Antony is, 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 it's more personal. Believe me, for mine honor and have honor. He's a man of honor. And he doesn't try to manipulate the crowd. He just talks to them and tells them exactly what's happened. If he'd been a bit more mani manipulative, I think he probably would have won them over and Anthony wouldn't have had any chance. <laughs> Be silent! Bring it on! <laughs> Come on! His initial desire, which is to share with the people the truth of why he did it, is really admirable. I honor him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But as he was ambitious, I slew him. He didn't stick around long enough to find out what happens afterwards. I speak not to this proof what would have spoke, but here I have to speak what I do. Because you see politicians, politicians in, in, in other countries like Africa and stuff like that, who are highly charged like that. We, we don't really have much of that anymore here. It's all very respectable and question time now. They're a tough crowd. If any, speak for him. Have I offended? Forget the, the working men's clubs of Bolton. The, these guys are really, really tough. Tough African heckling crowd. It would have been one of those jobs that I would have said, I really want to work with Greg and I really want to play Brutus, but who's playing Mark Antony? Is Ray doing it? I couldn't think of anybody better to play that, that person who you could be jealous of and go, my God, that guy's amazing, he looks great, he sounds great. <sighs> <laughs> no. And that's what Brutus has to have for, for Mark Antony, a sense in which that's not like me. He, he's not like me. I'm not a man of action like him. I say, stay here with Antony. Give grace. Do grace. Do entreat you. Not a man depart. Till Antony have spoke. We're in the rehearsal room, and it's just as soon as one gets up, Patterson always starts it. He gets up, and it's like, well, if he gets it up, I'm getting up as well. It just actually, it's just, it just raises the stakes. No, I don't think we're competing against each other, even though I think Brutus and Mark Antony do, you know, but me and him as individuals, I don't, I don't well, I'm not anyway. <laughs> You've just, you're, 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 you're throwing some smellers in the works here, aren't you? You're causing some friction here. <laughs>